Well, it's just an unthinkable nightmare for parents. A child dies by suicide. Suicide is a leading cause of death among teens in Vermont. Tonight, a special report on teen suicide, a family sharing their son's story of hidden heartbreak to try to prevent another family from suffering such loss. TJ Duncanson loved to dance. His fondness began at four years old. His friends loved his signature move. He'll do his like hair flip when he starts doing the beginning part. The kid with brightly colored hair and a smile to light up a room. He was always really happy and called him Rainbow Dash. <laughs> A fitting nickname for the 14-year-old who was on the JV dance team at Middlebury Union High School. Guys, let's rock it tonight. Let's do this for TJ. Let's do it. <laughs> but TJ would never get to compete. The high school freshman killed himself the day after Christmas. I didn't think it was true, and I was like, no, it's not true. TJ struggled with depression and came out to his parents last summer just before school started. He identified as pansexual, meaning he was attracted to both sexes and trans people. I think it took him a while to get to that point. His sexuality didn't matter at all to his parents. You know, I would have hated for him not to be able to say anything. Yeah, to hide that would have been terrible. I think it would be even more pain for himself. TJ told them he needed help dealing with depression. His pediatrician prescribed antidepressants, but TJ was hiding more sorrow than anyone knew about. It's just a tremendous pressure, I think, on them. They don't realize it's going to get better. They just, they don't see that. There's pretty good evidence at this point that the LGBT teens have a much higher risk of suicide attempts and completed suicides. Dr. David Ratu heads the Pediatric Psychiatry Clinic at UVM Medical Center. While LGBT teens are more at risk, psychiatrists say depression and suicide can affect all teens. In some cases, adolescents sometimes can lose the big picture and the stresses that all of us deal with sometimes can feel very monumental and that can cause some kids to feel more hopeless or worthless and once those feelings of hopelessness set in, that's when suicide can become a bigger risk. The Vermont Health Department says preliminary numbers show 10 adolescents died by suicide last year. It's the second leading cause of death for 10 to 14 year olds in Vermont and the second leading cause of death for people 15 to 34 as well. TJ's death was the last adolescent suicide in 2014. There was an internal pain that we don't know. We're not really sure if there's more going on. A police investigation revealed that TJ planned his suicide for a month, timing it around a family trip he skipped. He told his parents he wanted to stay at home with his older sister in order to attend dance practice. And in one of the notes said he even tested it and uh, made sure he had the right information. He waited for his parents to leave, got his grandfather's gun, and killed himself in his bedroom. It's something I can't get out of my head, rethinking his last moments and getting beyond that. Um, I think there was a lot of anger those few minutes before built up inside of him from some of the notes he had left. TJ left notes for his parents. In those notes, um, he said that he's sorry, he's selfish. This is way too overwhelming. You've handed me a great life, but I can't handle it. And notes for his friends. I want you to know I love you. And he's like, got it? Okay. And so... We thought that that had, like, passed. Police found no evidence of cyberbullying, but friends say he faced some taunts at school. I know he had heard people talk in the hallways, and he was right there, and he was pretty hurt by that. He heard some things, and I heard some things, and he got really offended by it. But again, TJ managed to convince everyone he was okay. Everyone was really surprised. He always, like, put on a happy face for everyone. No one expected it. Dr. Ratu says this highlights how important it is for teens to speak out if there are any signs of trouble.
one really important message for, for youth is not to worry alone. That if you see something posted on social media, if a friend makes a statement to you, don't worry alone. Engage somebody that you trust, and that literally can save their life. One, two, three, TJ! TJ's friends won't forget. You need to dance for him, all right? As they try to move on. He was one of our teammates, and he still is one of our teammates. Getting help for teens suffering from depression and contemplating suicide is not easy. More on that as we continue TJ's story, his hidden heartbreak, tomorrow night on the Channel 3 News at 6. And if you need help or know someone who does, we have links to resources on our website, WCAX.com. A Salisbury 14-year-old who came out to his parents last summer battled depression and hidden heartbreak. He took his own life. His suicide has his family sharing their story, hoping to save other children. But getting help for teens struggling with depression and contemplating suicide is difficult in Vermont due to a shortage of doctors. Here is a frame with his picture with everyone's signature on it. A tribute to a teammate. Do not think of me as gone. I am with you still in each and every dawn. The JV dance team at Middlebury Union dedicated their performance to TJ Duncanson's family before a competition. You need to dance for him, all right? The 14-year-old killed himself the day after Christmas. We had the rainbow ribbons on our shirts. These rainbow ribbons represent our honoring one of our students. You always knew TJ by his hair. He had a rainbow everywhere. But what people didn't know was how deeply depressed TJ was leading up to his suicide at his family's home in Salisbury. I don't want another family to go through this. TJ told his family how he was feeling months before taking his life. His pediatrician prescribed antidepressants, and his parents were talking about getting him counseling. But he seemed to be getting better, hiding his pain behind his smile. His smile, his hugs. He was very loving and always wanted to give it his all to you. He made us proud. He had a short 14 years, but he gave a lot during that time. When it comes to suicide in youth, there's no one size fits all. Getting help for suicidal teens is not easy. Dr. David Ratu says there are 30 child psychiatrists in Vermont. The state needs 30% more to reduce what can be year long wait times to see doctors. I think all states, and Vermont included, could do more to try to help prevent suicide. There's a shortage of child psychiatrists, and uh, it can be hard to find uh, counselors, especially those trained in evidence-based therapies. Like cognitive behavioral therapy or interpersonal therapy, proven effective in treating teen depression. Ratu points to problems in recruiting doctors to rural states like Vermont. Mental health doesn't always get the priority that many of us feel that it should. He says the field is attracting fewer medical students. There's a push to get doctors in primary care doing procedures versus time-based mental health treatment. And child psychiatrists require more schooling and start their professions with mountains of debt. Our system kind of works against us sometimes. Even with the shortage, Dr. Ratu says there are resources for families and every county has a mental health crisis team. The doctor says signs there's a problem include a loss of appetite, mood swings, sadness, irritability, and if they lose interest in things they usually like. Dr. Ratu says the situation may be dire if the child begins to give away possessions, says goodbye, or talks about suicide. Seeing what kind of young man he would have been, he wanted to be an actor. He was amazing on stage. So seeing what could have been, unfortunately, we're not going to see that. 
Now TJ's family has made it their mission to try to help other teens. The Vermont Youth Risk Behavior Survey shows that in 2013, 11% of high schoolers made a suicide plan and 5% attempted suicide. Both numbers are up from the last survey in 2011. And last year, preliminary numbers show that 10 adolescents died by suicide in Vermont, tying a grim record for the number of of annual suicides in that age group. And no matter what, I may message, I may phone call, I may text. I don't care when, I don't care why. The Duncansons attend all of the dance competitions TJ would have. He was such a bright kid and loved life, loved us. And if this can happen to him and it happened to our family, then there are other families out there that need help and may not know it at this moment in time. And if we can save another family from going through this, then I will do whatever it takes. Making sure other young people know they can and should talk to someone if they're troubled. Just uh, don't be afraid to talk to someone. Yeah. A message that seems to be resonating with students at Middlebury. I mean, even if you don't like going to counselors or guidance counselors because you think your parents are going to find out, you can't do it by yourself. So you can't really isolate yourself because it's all around you. Or even just go to a teacher or your parent. Like, I know everyone who feels that way is like, oh, no way, I'm not going to my parent. But they probably do have some really good advice. Advice they'll carry with them as they dance for TJ. Even though we can't replace them at all, but if we all just, like, help out people, it'll feel like he's still there because, you know, you have to stick up for people, and that's what he did.